3 2 by 5 plus 1 2 by 9 equals to 4 4 by 5 minus question mark. 8 by 45, 7 by 47, 4 by 45, 5 by 81 and none of this. Let's quickly look at the solution. Now you know that these are mixed fractions, right? An integer with a fractional part. 3 2 by 5, 1 2 by 9 equals to 4 4 by 5 minus question mark. Now generally while solving these questions, what we do is, you know, try to simplify the fraction. Instead of looking at the mixed fraction, we try to convert it to a proper fraction or improper fraction and then simplify it. Let's, let's look at that procedure and then I'll give you a smart way of getting the answer. Right? For example, 3 2 by 5. What is 3 2 by 5? How do you simplify? How do you convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction? Improper fraction, right? What do you do? Multiply 3 with 5. Multiply the integer part with denominator. So 3 into 5, 15. 15 should be added to the numerator. 15 plus 2, 17. So 17 by 5. Right, that's the idea. I am I'm sure all of you are aware of that. What do we do? Multiply the integer part with the denominator. 3 into 5, 15. 15 plus 2, 17. 17 by 5. Likewise, what, what will this be? 1 into 9, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. 11 by 9. What about this one? 4 into 5, 20. 20 plus 4, 24. 24 by 5. 24 by 5. Minus question mark. Right? Again, what do you do? Question mark goes on that side and those two fractions are coming going to come on this side. So I'll just clear these options. Let's look at the solution. So what do we do? Take it in a proper manner first, right? Let's let's take it in a proper way. So this question mark will be equal to 4, 4 by 5 minus 3, 2 by 5 plus uh, minus 1, 2 by 9. Are you able to follow? Question mark on that side. So 4, 4 by 5 as it is, minus 3, 2 by 5 minus 1, 2 by 9. You very well know that the uh, value will become negative when you just take it to the other side. Now, Going by the traditional method, 4 into 5, 20, 20 plus 4, 24, 24 by 5 minus 3 into 5, 15 plus 2, 17 by 5 minus 1 into 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 by 9. And then what do we do? We take the LCM of the denominators and try to simplify it. So take the LCM. What will be the LCM? What is the least common multiple of 5 and 9? 45. So take 45 in the denominator. And then we will try to simplify the numerators. For example, look at this. 5. How many times is 45? 5 into 9 is 45. So multiply 24 with 9. So this is 24 into 9. Right? Minus the symbol here. Minus. What about this? 5 again goes 9 times in 45. So 17 should also be multiplied with 9. 17 into 9. Minus. 9 goes how many times here? 5 times. 5 into 11. 5 into the numerator. I am sure all of you are aware of this general procedure. Otherwise you can directly uh, take this part here as 24 by 5 minus 17 by 5. 24 by 5 minus 17 by 5 will be equal to what? 7 by 5. 7 by 5 minus 11 by 9 uh, should give you the right answer. Right? Or here also again if you take 9 common, it's the same. Either directly take it as 24 minus 17, uh, 7 by 5 or here you can take 9 common. If you take 9 common, what happens? 24 minus 17 is equal to 7. 7 into 9. Right? So what will be the answer, final answer here? 24 into 9 minus 17 into 9. 9 is common. 24 minus 17 is equal to 7. 7 into 9, 63. 63 minus 5 into 11, 55, divided by 45. So this will be equal to 8 by 45. That's your answer, 8 by 45, which I believe is option number 1 as per the given option. Right? 8 by 45 is the correct answer. But friends, this actually is a lengthy procedure. Even though you take directly here, it, it has uh, 7 by 5 minus 11 by 9. Again, you have to take the LCM as 45. 9 times 63, 5 times 55. And that will give you 8 by 45 as we have got here. But then, Whatever you do, this is somehow a lengthy procedure, right? We direct, I mean, directly or indirectly, we waste a lot of time in this process here. We, we don't realize that we are wasting our time. So what is the smart way of solving this question? Let's look at it. Never try to convert this improper fraction into, uh, never try to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Don't do that, right? Instead of that, try to split the mixed fraction into integer part and the fraction part. That will give you the answer much faster. Let's look at the solution, right? Instead of... Uh, doing all this stuff, what we'll do here is uh, take this 3 2 by 5 as 3 plus 2 by 5 or I'll try to simplify from this step. Just remember what kind of calculation you have done here. 24 into 9, 17 into 9, 5 into 11, right? And and here we are able to take 9 common. So e it was easy, 24 minus 17, 7 into 9. But let's say if it is 24 into 8, you have to multiply that. 24 into 8 has to be multiplied, which should take some time. Even though you are good at calculations, it will take about 2-3 seconds. 17 should be multiplied with 9. Again, 1 or 2 seconds, right? So it takes time here for simplifying this numerator. If you convert the 
mixed fraction into improper fraction. Now, without doing this, how will we get the answer faster? Let's look at that. So, what do we do here? This will be equal to 4, 4 by 5, minus 3, 2 by 5, minus 1, 2 by 9. Right? Now, let's understand how does it give us the answer faster. What do we do? As I mentioned, split the mixed fraction into integer part and the fraction part. So, 4, 4 by 5 can be taken as 4 plus 4 by 5. Yes or no? 4 plus 4 by 5. For example, what is 3 and a half? What do you mean by 3 and a half? 3, 1 by 2. How do you take it? This is 3 and a half. 3 plus half. That's the idea, right? 3 and a half or, you know, for example, 5, 1 by 4. 5, 1 by 4 is what? 5 plus 1 by 4. So that's the idea. Any mixed fraction can be split into integer part and the fraction part. So we'll try to do that for all the given fractions. So 4 plus 4 by 5 minus of, look at this, 3, 2 by 5 will be equal to 3 plus 2 by 5. But when you split it, it becomes minus 3 minus 2 by 5. Negative sign is applicable to both integer as well as the fraction part. So minus 3 minus 2 by 5. And then 1, 2 by 9 is 1 plus 2 by 9. Apply negative sign to both of them. Minus 1 minus 2 by 9. Now try to do the calculation. What kind of calculation will you do here? Do the calculations for the integer part separately and the fractions part separately. Are you able to follow? We'll do the integers uh, calculation in one shot and then the fraction calculations. Let's, let's see how, what happens. 4, don't worry about the fraction part. 4 minus 3 is how much? 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Yes or no? 4 minus 3 minus 1 is what? 0. So there is no integer part. Now look at the remaining parts. What are, what are those? Fractions. 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 minus 2 by 9. Now what do we do? Now take the LCM. 5 and 9 the LCM is 45. Now you might be wondering, how does it make it easy? Here also we have to take LCM. In the previous procedure also we have taken LCM. So how do you say that this method will give you the answer faster? Look at this. Now you realize why this gives you the answer faster. 5 goes how many times? 9 times. So 9 into 4. 9 into 4 is how much? 36. If you remember, in the previous case, it was 9 into 24. That's the difference. 9 into 24 will take more time when compared to 9 into 4. Yes or no? Likewise, next step. 5 goes how many times? 9 times. 9 into 2. Earlier case, it was uh, 9 into 17, if, if you remember. 9 into 17. 9 into 17 takes more time when compared to 9 into 2. It's 18. And last step. 9 goes how many times? 5 times. 5 into 2. 5 into 2 is 10. Earlier it was 5 into 11. Though 5 into 11 is simple, 55, but 5 into 2, 10, much, much easier, right? And then remember, though this question in the previous method also appeared to be a little easy because the values were not typical. If the denominators are like 5, 7, 11, all kind of prime numbers, it takes a lot of time to do the multiplications and arrive at the numerators. So that is the reason. Remember, always split the integer part and the fraction part, you will get the answer much faster. So look at this now, minus 10. What is 36 minus 18? 18. 18 minus 10? 8. 8 by 45. That's your answer. So practice on this method. What do you do? Just split the integer part and the fraction part and do the calculations. But one point which you have to be careful about is the negative sign. Right? Generally, when you are solving this question in the exam, you are in a hurry. So what do we do? Minus 3 to minus 3, 2 by 5 will be taken as minus 3 plus 2 by 5. Many times I have found my students committing this kind of mistakes, right? Because they are uh, in a hurry. So avoid this. Avoid this. Minus 3, 2 by 5 is not minus 3 plus 2 by 5. It is minus 3 minus 2 by 5. Right? So just be careful. And if you follow this procedure, definitely you will get the answer faster. Right? So the correct answer here is 8 by 45.